We're here today with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, and since this is December, we're going to be talking about gift giving for those political junkies in your lives. Good to see you. Very happy to be here. So, David, let's begin by some tips for what we should give a political junkie. Just off the head, I'd say a book might be a good idea. Books are a really good gift for political junkies, mainly because, number one, they read, and number two, you know, they'd like to get, have an extension of their own lives by reading things. There are two great books that are out right now. Carl Rove, who was an aide to President uh, George W. Bush, has a book on William McKinley, who was the first president of the 20th century. And he talks about immigration, of all things, and how McKinley shaped his party because many people in that era were not welcoming Catholics into the country. And um, McKinley took the Catholic vote and won big in his election and reshaped his party. The other book is fantastic. It's a book called Harry Truman's Excellent Adventure. When Harry Truman retired from office in 1953, he was living on a pension of 111 bucks. Wow. And they had no Secret Service protection, and he drove from Missouri all the way to Pennsylvania for a speech. He got stopped at the Pennsylvania Turnpike, <laughs> and it's a really fascinating read. Both of those sound like great reads. And then what about when it comes to political movies and TV shows that are on DVD? DVD, basically, you have to go with the West Wing. It is basically a civics lesson for all Americans on the presidency. And there's a movie from 1964 called The Best Man with Henry Fonda, written by Gore Vidal. That's a classic movie if anybody wants to buy a DVD for a political, for a political junkie. Okay, well, how about uh, political ties? Is there a rule of thumb on those? Yes. A rule of thumb on political ties is you always want to make sure that you don't get the blue tie. The blue, tie, the blue basic, tie The blue tie basically screams, hey, look, I'm a junkie. Look at all the presents <laughs> on my neck. Okay. The other one is more subtle, and that is a tie with Democratic donkeys on. Now, I have a tie with Democratic donkeys, and I have a tie with Republican elephants, so that uh -huh. when I go to events, I just want to be covered. And right. it turns out that I'm the only one who's wearing a tie, because not many people wear ties anymore. Okay, so you're saying uh, when it comes to ties, subtlety is key. Subtlety is key. All right, and uh, these little bobbleheads, uh, that was the first thing I saw when I came in. Uh, would anybody actually keep bobbleheads like this on their desk? Yes, the bobbleheads you're seeing right now. Uh, the bobbleheads are John Kennedy, Richard Nixon, and uh, Ronald Reagan. If you want to kind of avoid controversy, though, if you want to have an apolitical bobblehead, you want to go with the Reagan one, because I think the Reagan one kind of looks like Phil Dumphy from Modern Family. <laughs> okay. So that's interchangeable, you know? <laughs> so you can say, oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's Dumphy. That's Perfect. not Reagan. Perfect. All right. So you've talked about a lot of gifts that would be good for political junkies. How about ones that we shouldn't buy? Never give them cash. Okay. Because they're going to think they're taking a bribe. Okay. <laughs> so to tell them, you know, this is not a donation, no cash. Um, Gift yeah. cards. D there you go. So, David Yonkai from the Luluk Political Letter, you are busy. You're going to be doing your year end review coming up. Yes. Uh, and that's going to be on the blog starting after Christmas? After Christmas, yes. Okay. It's so just in time for the new year. Where can we go to get more information? Luluk Political Letter, blackspot.com. Perfect. Well, so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be right back.